We are previewing week seven in NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking right now with returning guest Stephen O, professional NFL handicapper from AccuScore.com. Stephen O, thanks for being back with us this week. Thanks for having me again. All right, we're going to talk about the Packers and Rams, but quickly, let you want to give, uh, what is that? You want to promote your, uh, your promo with SBR? Oh, yeah. We, if you go to our website and use the coupon code, a capital S, capital B, capital R, I believe it's 25% off all of our packages. Wow. Not bad. All right. So we're going to talk about Packers Rams. You didn't pick the Bengals this week, which I, you know, <laughs> I thought the Bengals, I think the Bengals are great against the Steelers this week. But uh, quickly, in two seconds, you like the Bengals this week against Steelers? Uh, no, I actually like the Steelers. Oh, um, okay. Not by much. I mean, I think the line is that uh, Steelers might be a one-point favorite. Yeah, two and a half. I have two, two, yeah. an average around one and a half points, so I really didn't have any strong feeling either way. All right. Well, I like the Bengals. Anyway, you pick Packers and Rams, which I think is kind of a tougher line. The Rams are a five-point home underdog. Totals 44 and a half. Packers, of course, coming off of a big win over a Houston. Very impressive road win over one of the best teams in the NFL. Rams kind of playing like tight, low-scoring games. Uh, so I'm looking at this I don't know I guess if you think that the uh, that the Packers are going to have some kind of letdown maybe they do have a bunch of injuries maybe the Rams can hang, hang tight what do you think of these lines you know I, I kind of I like the Packers to cover mm -hmm. uh, in the simulations we have them uh, covering uh, minus five at uh, 59 percent and I, I looked at it and I think it really boils down to what Packers offense you think is going to show up um, the line was set at five I looked at a couple factors and you know the Packers are averaging uh, around 25 and a half points a game the Rams are a little over 18. Uh, the Rams' defense is doing a great job. They're fifth in the league, and they hold their opponents to almost six points fewer than what those teams scored against the rest of the league. Yeah. Uh, the Packers actually are doing that uh, at a, a minus three, which is pretty strong, too, top uh, 11th in the league. So, you know, you have this team that's averaging, you know, straight offenses. You got 26 to 18, but then you give the, the Rams a three-point uh, bonus for having their defense playing so well, and I can see where that line of five came around. But again, it comes down to the assumption that the Packers' offense, the first three weeks, obviously struggled. Uh, but if you look at the last three weeks, um, they're averaging you know, 32 points. You go back to all last year, they're averaging obviously around 34. Uh, meanwhile, the Rams, they haven't scored above 20 in four weeks. They've only had that one game against Washington where they scored a lot of points without having the opposing quarterback turn the ball over a lot. So I, I think that given Aaron Rodgers' track record, even when he turns the ball over, it's usually no more than one interception. Hmm. I, I kind of I think that what we have here is a Packers offense that's more that 30-point scoring team and a, and a Rams offense that's, that's still a 20-point scoring team. So real simple math, I think that <laughs> the Packers are good for 10. Now, there is the home field advantage uh, that the Rams have, and there are injuries to some linebackers and a lot of other players uh, on the Packers' side. So I could see where five comes in, but I certainly like the Packers winning by seven. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of faith you have in this in this Packers team. And maybe they really are that good, and maybe they're having some like line value now because of their slow start. You think that's what's going on here? Yeah, you know, and I think it's the slow start. If if it, if they were if the Packers are four and two or five and one, right, I right. think it's an obvious letdown game. But they're still only three and three, and they're still in a dogfight with a bunch of NFC teams that are in playoff contention. So I'm assuming I'm going on the hunch still that they are still going to play with the fire they came out with last week. That they know that. You know, one one win over Houston doesn't mean anything. That three and four is not where you want to be. So again, if they were four and two, five and one, I see it as a total letdown game. But they're not that team. All right, nice analysis, Steve from AccuScore.com. I'm sure our uh, fans on YouTube are going to have a lot to say about uh, that analysis. Steve, yeah, thanks. Yeah, for I, I can say one thing. It is really interesting because I think that you know the lines held at five. I mean, I think it's even gone down from five and a half to five. Uh, but the in our, in our live odds product, it is showing that green ninety percent of betters are on Green Bay. That's not the action, but total number of betters. Right. So you have obviously, uh, you know, the guys who really think they know something that I'm not including myself in are on St. Louis, yeah. where most people in the public are on Green Bay. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we will see what happens, Steve. Thanks, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you.